those who don't have a business manager account, I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to create it. So the URL that you would be going to, you type in business, no www dot, so you can exclude the www part, but just type in business dot facebook dot com. And when you type that in, it'll take you to this page. If you're not logged in, please log yourself in, click on create account. And this is where you give your business an account name. So let's just call this, and I'm not putting the apostrophe because it can't have special characters. So Connie, Connie J. Pack, business manager. Actually, let's do Connie Pack. And Connie at ConnieJPack.com. Let's do that. Connie, business manager. Then you go into your country, United States, address business phone number and website and you pick promote its own goods or services provide services to other businesses then we have to confirm the email so log into my email all right so I'm logged in as you can see here Facebook confirm your business email I'm gonna go ahead and click on that confirm now so now I've confirmed the email for Facebook that back over so your email has been verified perfect thank you and so as you can see from the earlier video of how it looks like with the assets and things this is very empty at the moment and so you go under pages there's nothing here you go under add account there's nothing here so everything is brand new this is where you have to link things so for pages you have to add um, so your business already owns the page so whichever email account login that you're using which is your own Facebook login if your page th that you want to add, you own that page, um, you can go ahead and do that. If you want to just request access to the page, like it's a, another page that you're managing, then you would need to click on this one. And if it's a new one that you, you would like to create, you would click on this one. So let's go ahead and request access. I want to add a page to add tucked in marketing, add page. I would need to be an admin of the page. So let's go back and become an admin of the page. I'm logged in as Aiden Pack. So I've maxed out on my business manager. So I'm using Aiden Pack's account to be able to do this. So I go in here, I go under settings and you go to page roles. I need to add Aiden Pack admin and add a require a lot of passwords during this process as you can imagine so much fraud happening these days so once you've confirmed your email now it's time to add your page in your ad account so let's go ahead and request access to a page cool awesome uh, a request has been sent asking the people who manage and define to approve your request. So it's because it's owned by someone else. So let's make this the primary. Next, approve a request. Yeah, so I just need to wait for that approval. And so ownership requests. So it's asking if I can change the ownership and it's request to reach out to request. So let's go ahead and do that. Approve request. And of course, you're gonna ask for passwords frequently when you do things like this. The request for access is pending should clear up. Let me refresh the screen. There we go. So now we've got our page. Let's go ahead and add our ad account. I'd like to create a new ad account actually and for those who have never run ads before you may want to create your own ad account so uh, put in the ad account name the currency all that stuff let's see ad account is for this I am going to have admin access um, as you can see when you click over admin you get access to everything above it so it's just easier to click go straight to admin than to toggle everything over. Let's close. So now we have a Connie J. Pack admin account where Connie Pack has access to. And we have a Connie J. Pack Facebook page 
uh, which currently we have a few people who have access to, two of them being myself, and this is my project manager. So that is how you set up a brand new business manager page. While we're in here, actually, the other thing I'd like to do is if we go under data sources and go to pixel, it doesn't have a pixel. So let's go ahead and create one. So let's create, check your website. So that'll be my website. So great. And this is the pixel code. So we'll get into this a little bit more when we start doing pixels, but all I'm doing right now is just setting it up. So just, just like we set up the page, the ad account, we're just setting up the pixel. That's it. Let's go ahead and make sure that I have access to the pic to manage the pixel. So I'm going to do that. So basically your pixel under people, you should see your name, ad account, um, whatever at name of the ad account, you should see your name. And lastly, pages, you should see your name. And that is it. Those are the three fundamental things you need to do to set up your business manager account. I want to point out one more thing. This actually could be a great opportunity to set up your payment method as well. So if you go down here to payments, you click on payments, add payment method, and you fill out a credit card, couple of things I want to say is that please don't put a low limit credit card in here. If payment doesn't go through because you're maxed out or your expiration date just passed, it will severely hurt your ad account. It will be a ding. Think of your ad account as a credit score. So the more dings you have, the more Facebook doesn't like it. So you are less qualified to buy stuff, such as how things are with the credit score. So let's try to keep a good credit and have good standing with our ad account. And so have a card that has um, ample space and just make sure the expiration date isn't happening in the next month or two and that it's we've got a couple years left to go. So those are just some things I would definitely make a note of, but go ahead and set that up as well. And then you're good to go. Comment or subscribe if you like to continue hearing more. Thanks.